Hello and welcome to this small little tips and tricks video that hopefully is going to help you out. So what I've decided to do on the channel is just a few tips and tricks videos. I've got a few ideas, I think I've got five in total now. So yeah, the aim is just to show you a few little tips and tricks that will hopefully help you. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. So this first one is going to be about trailers. So a few times as I've been playing the game, I've been modifying the trailer capacity um, just to up it. You know, there's not many times you're going to obviously make it less the capacity. Most of the time you want to increase the capacity. So hopefully in this video, it's going to show you how to do it from start to finish. Um, so if you want to change a trailer capacity yourself, you can go ahead and do that. So let's pick a trailer. Um, I think I've got one in mind. Um, let me just find one that I've got. So we'll pick this one, the Brantner TA XXL. It's 24,000. Um, it's got a capacity, as you can see, of 16,000 litres. So let's say I like this one and uh, I want to increase it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to buy it. It's going to drop just here. Now that is actually 16,000 um, litres capacity. Uh, I should probably put a tractor in as well. So let's just get some small tractor um, that we can just obviously connect it to. So you can see I might actually go with a... Ford. I've been wanting to get a Ford for, for for a while now, so I'm just going to randomly get one of these um, 8330s, which I do, 8340, sorry, I do like this tractor, I really do. Let's just lease this out quickly. Yeah, so, we'll jump into this and just hook it up, just so you can see that it's definitely 16,000 litres. So what I'll do is I'll quickly just fill it up, and then you can see the maximum capacity there is 16,000 litres. So what I'll do now is I'll jump out of the game and I'll show you exactly what to do to obviously modify this. Right, so as you can see now, I'm, I'm on my desktop. I've uh, gone to Mod Hub. I've found the actual mod. So all you need to do basically is go and find the trailer that you need. Um, you can obviously take it out your mod folder. You can do it that way. Um, but you can also just do it this way if, if you're obviously just found the trailer that you want to modify it's not been in your game just i was just showing you that to show you that originally it was 16,000 litres uh, but obviously you don't need to do that so let's say you found the mod you found the tra the trailer that you want to obviously modify you've got it here you're going to download it right so now that you've downloaded it the only other thing you're going to need these are the only things you'll need to do this which is uh, just some kind of software to unzip the archive and then zip it back up there's two that you can use which is 7-zip which is free to use you just go on 7-zip search it on, on google or anything like that you want to download the link here uh, it depends what type you want 32-bit or 64 it really depends um, and then obviously download it and you can use their software i'm going to be using winrar that's what i've got set up again just go to winrar search it you'll come up here download here for free you don't have to buy it just download the free version and that'll work perfectly fine uh, when you've got that all set up i'll pretty much show you now exactly what you need to do right so as you can see this is my downloads uh, folder this is automatically gone into here this is the actual mod itself as you can see i'm using winrar so it's got the winrar icon but as you can see there it says brantner brantner sorry uh, ta XXL, which is the obviously the trailer that we want to modify. So the first thing you're going to do, you're going to right click it, and you're going to basically. I've got seven zip as well, like right there. So I, so you could be using seven zip as well, but I'm I'm using WinRAR. So I'm going to just put extract to FS19 Brantner TA16051 XXL. So basically, what that's going to do instead of putting extract here, you're extracting it into a folder. Um, so as you can see, you just press that button, and it's put it into a folder. So it's extracted the actual um, mod so unzipped it and now it's in a folder when you've got the folder you need to go and find the XML now you can actually open this XML with notepad just standard notepad that's in Windows or you can use what I'm using which is notepad, notepad plus uh, plus plus I think it's actually called um, if you want to open it with notepad it's perfectly fine like I said I've got notepad plus plus uh, that's a mouthful notepad plus plus and then just standard notepad it, it's either either or works perfectly fine for this uh, so i'll show you notepad because probably most people are going to have that so you're going to open the standard xml not the mod description just this one here the brantner ta silage if you're using it on a different on, on a different trailer this you're not using the same trailer as me you want to look for the one that's just basically not the mod description it's the other one there should only really be two um, so open the one that you think is most like the one I'm opening. 
So you open the XML and this is what you're going to get. It's a lot of data. You're probably going to be thinking it's a lot of it means nothing. Um, but what you're looking for is fill unit. So if you scroll down, eventually you will find at some point fill unit. And the best thing to look for is this is the capacity that you know it's already at, which is there. So I know it's 16,000 liters. So that's what I'm looking to change. Like I said, fill unit, like I said, fill unit configuration, fill units, this one's fill, fill unit. That's what I'm looking to change. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this. I think I'm going to change it to 35,000. Simple as that. Look for capacity under fill unit um, and then change the capacity to whatever you want it to be. Uh, and it's pretty straightforward. So like I said, the best way to find capacity in the fill unit is obviously look for fill unit, then look for capacity and then try and find the number that you already know that capacity is already at. So now that I've changed it to 35,000 there, all we have to do is press save and then just close it down. You can go back in and double check that if you if you want to. It's opened it up in plus notepad plus plus for me here just because that's my uh, default. Um, so it might look a bit strange to you now, but all we're doing is going in just to confirm, as you can see, fill unit is now capacity 35,000. Um, so yeah. Right, so what we need to do now is highlight all these in this folder. Right click when they're all highlighted. So highlight them all, right click, and then you're gonna go to add to archive. And then when it comes up, you need to change it from raw to zip. So you want it back into a zip file. And then all you need to do there is just press okay. And as you can see, this is now zip back up. We can then cut this or copy it, whatever you wanna do. We need to bring in our mod folder and then right click. And this is my original one here and we're gonna replace it. You can delete that out and do it a different way if you want to delete that out and then put it in first. But I'm just going to overwrite it, which is what I'm doing now. So there you go. It's all done. So all I need to do now is jump into the game and show you exactly that it's changed to 35,000 litres. Right, so I've jumped back into the game. Nothing's changed for me. I didn't need to reactivate the mod or anything like that because I already had the mod in my folder and activated. I didn't need to activate it. If obviously you've downloaded that for the first time and then modified the capacity before putting it into your mod folder, then obviously you would need to activate it as normal as any other mod. So as you can see, it still says on the side of the trailer, which it will do, the 16,000 litre capacity. But now if we jump into this and I quickly just open up um, Ease Development and I fill it up, as you can see in the bottom right corner, it now says 35,000 litres. So we've pretty much doubled the capacity of this trailer. And just as simple as that. So hopefully this has helped you out if you wanted to do something like this before and you didn't know how to. Um, it's really simple. And now you've been shown, hopefully you can do it straightforward. Um, it is actually pretty useful, especially for the trailers that go on the back of forage harvesters. Uh, because we all know how much chaff or how much maize or whatever you're doing uh, can fill up the trailers that attach to the back of the forage harvester really quick so if you modify it you, know, you can obviously have it make make your life a lot simpler right so if this has helped you out give the video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also keep a lookout for more tips and tricks videos coming soon see ya